is 8.30 in the morning. The sun is starting to come up. Some suspicious open house tonight, so there's teas, and I'm going, Yeah, I guess I should bring a notebook and take notes tonight. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it actually be my ex, I'll be there. He, she's a constituency worker part time right. as well. All right, so. But I said I would go. I usually take notes. She deals with the other stuff in these open houses. Is there a bunch of a problem with drinking up here? Yeah, unfortunately, Wait, where there does is. Where from? Uh, from down south. So it's yeah. truck in and um, it's, it's just boat at the end, yeah. yeah. And if they really get desperate and they run out, then they fly at the end. It's got to be uh, fairly expensive then, is it? Yeah, it is when it's flown in. When it's shipped in, it's not bad right. by boat, but in, when it's flown in, wow. it's expensive. <laughs> Sorry, thanks. Okay, no, you'll get a chance to later. Better deal. The elevator walk up one flight. Either or. Just walk up one flight. Am I walking? I usually walk everywhere. <laughs> and uh, Minister Brown represents to the riding of Rankin Inlet. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Brown. Thanks for coming. See ya. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Honor. You. Thank you. So the assembly here, the it's probably the most modest assembly in, in Canada. Oh, wow. This is where the cabinet is. Here, just above here, is uh, a rack. And it's supposed to illustrate the old traditional uh, fish drying rack. When you okay, fish, yeah. you'd hang them on the side of it. That's what you see in old camps and so on. The carving over here is one of a kind. It's very unique. That would be about nine thousand dollars if you wanted. Oh to my it. goodness! And, you, and, it is, and it is huge. If you tried to lift it. Oh. Well, there was a guy last night in the restaurant trying to sell one of a of a seal. It was just beautiful, or a walrus, and it was just beautiful. Oh. It was. Uh, <laughs> Big. Eh? He wanted uh, he wanted a hundred bucks for it, yeah. and it was you know it was probably this good chunk. Of Right there, like it was a good size. Well, you can buy some really nice cars. You buy them like that from guys who are walking around selling them. Yeah. yeah. Really getting a good bargain. Well, They're we walking. weren't sure, and they were they were through the restaurant last yeah. night. Yeah. Oh, Let's say the guy came else. to you and he said, "Here, I'll give, I want a hundred dollars." And you say, oh, "Okay, I got sixty bucks." You get. If you went down south, then that's probably worth four hundred dollars. Oh yeah. Yeah, we seen this one guy hit a mask. Last night like, we wanted it. It was, it was like that big. Was, it was well, four hundred fifty bucks. You saw it. We got a couple of paintings that we did. This is beautiful. Oh, Subway. <laughs> it just opened last year as a local guy has the franchise. He had uh, Mary Brown's in there for a while. And uh, he wanted to open up uh, Tim Hortons. I, I see the Tim Hortons tins. There's in the, only a sign here? <laughs> I see the, I seen the Tim Hortons tins in the in the grocery store, yeah, the quick stop downstairs. Oh yeah. I wonder why. If it was here, it would probably Let's go straight through where uh, yeah. uh, do you know a guy named Bob? Yeah, yeah I met him in New York. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, oh yeah. that.
Comatic or sled. It's oh, cool. Okay. Okay. Sled. And that's framed like that. And it's the same in the entrance when you come coming through. The comatic right here is that there is the traditional sled used by uh, by Inuit. And traditionally, it would have been made out of uh, whale bone or well, um, different types of bone. Because wood's weapon. not a commodity here. Right? And it would have been used to like for a dog team, you could ride on it, and so on and so forth. Right here we have a great selection of, uh, of traditional dolls. Oh, wow. And the dolls themselves with uh, the different types of clothing up, wardrobe and so on. Oh, yeah. And what you see here, by the way, is that uh, here, for example, this is from the Western Arctic. Mm -hmm. And the style here is a little bit different. It has caribou and inlaid and so you can see the fur here. Okay. And uh, a man and wife. This is from the Western Arches. It's an Alaskan style. Again, you can tell by the frilly outlook. And this is a mountain. And then what happens here is a child would be carried. We saw that last night. night. That, was that was great. Excellent. That nice? I wish you yeah. had one. <laughs> great. When I had kids. <laughs> and this, this is a traditional Western Arctic one again. Here is an Eastern Arctic family in Caribou. You notice this is the Caribou skin here. The Caribou skin here, the two different styles. Oh, okay, yeah. And this is, uh, this is what you'd see in the Eastern Arctic type of style, Caribou skin. Here's a fantastic reproduction here. And these are actually bird skins. There's an island called Santa Kilowak, and uh, in that community of Santa Kilowak, where people didn't have caribou or anything or reindeer. Yeah. So they used skins of birds and to make their clothes. So that's actually the skin, say, let's say 50 ducks were killed, skinned them, and then they, the women would sew them. Just fantastic, ingenious ability. And again, down here, just traditional clothing here, and you see the mouth dick with the skin turned outside, so the fur now, the hair would be inside, okay. fade close to the body, and then the outside part would be the skin. <laughs> in a traditional kind of tent. Yeah. Wow. When we come into the uh, assembly right here, we were talking about carving earlier. Oh, wow. Oh, See wow. all the carving? <laughs> the last count, there's about 200 different carvings on that hand. It's all scrimshawed, it's uh, carved out, including the points. So you can see there's a different uh, fish there, bears, traditional scenes. It has to be seen to the believe. Wow, what kind of long people do that? Isn't that something? Yeah, amazing. So just right here, for example, you can see that there's a guy. He's, the seal is underneath the ice, and he's carved one through the ice. This is what he's doing. Oh, okay. That's all gotcha. See the fish, the birds, over here is a blue scene. The scene. The end of the bird, the fish, the moon. Uh, I mean, you could probably spin out just looking at it. Isn't that nice? So over here, we have the uh, legislative base. The Zephyr. unit of government is is taken after the Westminster former government, which is the government of the Commonwealth of Nations. Uh, we're have a prime minister, not a president. So every one of these types of Commonwealth countries, like, like Canada and India and England, have a mace. And years gone by, the mace was a weapon used by the sergeant of arms to protect the house. And today it's a ceremonial mace. It's a ceremonial mace. It's made out of narwhal tusk. The narwhal tusk, you see there. It's inlaid with semi-precious stones, all found blue. At the top is a, is a, is a, is a diamond.